Okay, welcome to part two of my mixed media art um, layout. I decided not to clean my stamp and just be brave and just use this orange. Like I said, this orange comes from the Faber Castell set that you can find on Amazon. It is for kids. It's what it's advertised as or geared towards, but they really and truly, they work just like these regular ones. This is the watermelon. I'm just kind of creating a mixed a mixture here. I'm just going to add one spritz, not too much water, and I'm just going to stamp it down down here. And I'm going to stamp it up here. Okay, and there we have, I think it's a very pretty background and fun, perfect for a birthday party. And then I could take this and set it aside to dry, and then I'm going to not waste, I'm going to spritz it a couple times and add it to my art journal. And I could get some cardstock too, and I could make um, maybe some background paper for a card. So I'm going to get a piece of paper tray ink paper that I've been hoarding. This is the creamy color, whatever that's called. And I'm going to stamp. I just don't want to waste this awesome color that's on here. There's still some turquoise here. Okay, so we're not going to watch that right now. We are going to move on. Alright, so I do need baby, baby wipes to clean this. But I don't have any. So I'm just gonna spritz, spritz, spritz. And just clean it off. And that's what I would do if I didn't have any baby wipes. I'll do that off camera. I'll do one more thorough job. Okay, so now we wanna go <clears throat> to this tape. Now, um, she used two different widths, and I only, he said we had all the widths that she has, but I can't find them right now, and he's not available to help me this second, so um, I am going to attempt. This is scotch. It is really sticky, and, and it was in the garage, and I live in Florida, and the garage is like an oven, so... Probably not a good place to keep tape because this is really going to be difficult, I think, to get this off. I just want it to come off in one. It's, hmm. there we go. Okay. Rip that off. And I just want to show you what she did. This is so fun. Oh, this is not going to work the way she showed, but it's going to show you what I can do. We're just going to go with it. It's not going to be exactly like hers. I'm not trying to copy her. I'm just using the techniques that she used. I'm just playing. Again, this tape is not in the best shape. I'm going to have to buy my own and keep it inside. <laughs> my word. Sorry. Just fast forward. It's 
not very interesting watching somebody peel. This is really bad, in bad shape here. So, it's, it's okay because I'm going to actually use it ripped up like this. Okay, so tip number one, do not store your masking tape, or really any other tape, in the garage. Because this is what happens. So, but we're still going to try and use it. And maybe we'll discover something new. Okay. So, we are going to create designs on this masking tape with our gelatos. And you can just be random and do squigglies and spirals. And lines. And you would take your aqua brush. I use the Tim Holtz one. It does have water in it. And just get it going. And then we're just going to blend the colors. You could take your finger and blend the colors as well. It blends really nicely on this masking tape. Okay, but like I said, you could also just use the water brush. You can use a combination of the two. Love it. Love this. What I learned last night. Okay, and then dry that. And I didn't have a chance to clean my stamp yet, so I'm going to go ahead and come back with part three. Thank you. 